Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about a new scenario. So please try to watch all my previous videos so that you'll get more understanding about SIS and a SQL Server development, performance training, and also Power BI Index. Now we'll go to the Power BI desktop. There you can understand today's video demo. So for timing, already I have designed the report. So I'm gonna explain each and every step. So what I've done here. So before getting the details of the report, let me explain. So what table I have imported to design this report and all. So we'll try to understand what kind of expressions I have used to design this report. Okay. So for today's report purpose, I have just created one table only. It's very simple. We'll try to look into what data it contains. So just click on data. So now we can see that so employee ID, employee name, domain name, and so these are the three columns I have. Okay. So in this table, I have employee ID, employee name, domain name. So so I just create a sample data for today's demo purpose only. So the requirement here is so I want to extract the name as well as domain name. So this is the domain name column, but as for the my requirement i want to extract name in separate column as well as domain name also separate column like um, gmail yahoo so different kind of domains right so in that case how to extract so i'm going to explain today's video so what what i've done here is so i just created so this measure as well as calculated column so this is a measure this is a calculator so in two ways i have done maybe you can do it at power query editor also we can do it but for timing i just implemented in a calculated column as well as measure so we'll try to explore both the options so how i write an expression we'll try to see that so for timing we'll go to the calculated column so now so first i'll try to zoom it so first i'm trying to extract the name from this column what i'm doing here is i'm trying to extract the name from this domain column so for that purpose i have used the mid function so here i have whatever the column you want to extract we can give it here so after that from where we have to start okay from the where you have to start so i'm starting from the position one it means that from the beginning of this column name so after that by using the search function i'm trying to find so what is the index position of this at the rate so i am trying to find the index position of this position and finally i am subtracting okay so due to that i am getting the name so a name only here so even you can do the same thing in sql server like uh, substring function and a care care index length function so we used to extract uh, same thing we can do it here but in this case in our in our dax in our power bi we are doing by using mid function or search something like that okay this is the name so when it comes to domain name so we can see here same only but so in the first argument i'm giving the what are the column you want to extract and in the second column instead of specifying the so hard coding the value here we need to find from the at the rate after so at the rate after so that is the reason in the second argument i am trying to find the so where is the index position at the rate index position plus one okay and finally so giving the length function i'm trying to find the how many length so this column name and all so based on that we used to get the same uh, domain name like like so for timing i just uh, done the test.com only but you, as for the so requirement you can go gmail or yahoo whatever it is so like that we can implement it so name as well as domain so this is for calculated columns only so even you can implement it by using measure also we'll try to see that is also go to the report just try it so name one try to zoom it so here I have used the as one value so if the value is there at least one value so execute this one if there is no value return a blank same thing whatever the expression i have written the calculated column same thing i'm returning except i'm just validating whether it is contain more than one value or not same thing like that so this is the value when it comes to domain name extraction here also same thing nothing changed 
so same thing we can achieve as i said like uh, in the sql server we used to do substring substring function care and x length function so like uh, extracting first name last name from the full name something like that so we can achieve same thing here also so i'm just using the has one value after that if at least one value so execute this one by using mid function and search length so if if the it contain more than one value written the blank statement so blank so i like that so we have implemented it's very simple only so same thing i have dragged into the report canvas you can see that this is the calculated column this is a measure this is a calculated column this is a measure so like that so i have implemented so that's all for today's video i hope you like this video so if you have any questions or queries you can send me an email or drop your comments in the comment section so that i'll write a reply as soon as possible thank you so much for watching stay tuned for the videos thank you so much